All right, so we've gone and taken a deep dive into spark transformations, and we've learned that transformation functions produce RDDs. Let's move on to actions. And actions are functions that produce a value back to the Spark driver program. The driver program we're using in this lecture and previous lectures is the Spark console. We're going to go over about six or seven functions, including reduce, collect, count, first, take, take sample, and count by key. I think you're going to be surprised by how many of these actions you've already seen. Let's get into some code. Our first function, action function, will be reduce. Let's create an RDD to use in our example. Reduce aggregates, aggregates, excuse me, the elements of your data set. So what do you think will happen when we call this? That's right, it combines them all together. I think this example is simple, but we can also show another way to achieve the same result. But first I'm going to show another example quickly which counts up all the characters in the list of names. We'll call back flat map as well. So we can see that there's 12 characters in the three names when we combine them or re reduce them all. As I mentioned, let's show another way to achieve the, uh, a similar result. The total number of characters in all the names. Let's create another RDD of names. And notice we're going to map over them and set the value of their size, their character size. And now we, we can reduce. So as you can see, there's more than one way to achieve it. Next, let's move on to the collect function. You've seen this many times. So I'm going to quickly show another example here. Collect is convenient for us in these examples as it spits back the results to the console. Another action function is count. There's three names in the names two RDD. In the beginning examples we used first and then there's take. Take allows us to return an array with the first n or argument elements of the data set. So let's pass an argument of two. Apple and Betty. Let's run this a few times. As we can see, we're getting the same results. What happens if we want to just take a sample though? Let's show take sample. We'll load up some baseball teams. Take sample, accept a, an additional argument of a random generator seed. Let's 
So we'll see some random results when we take samples. The final action function we'll cover is count by key. If you guessed that it required a key value pair, that would be correct. This time, let's load up some hockey teams. And let's count by key. As you can see, before we could count by key, we needed to construct a key value pair. So we can see the wild appeared three times, which would be as we expect. So there you go. There's some actions that we've shown how to use in the console.